Welcome to the Madison Miller Podcast. Today is Friday, August 7th, 2020. Today I'm going to recap yesterday's NHL, NBA, Major League Baseball, and MLS's back tournament games and look ahead to today's games in hockey, basketball, and baseball. I'll look at the current leaderboard at the PGA Championship, preview and predict the four NASCAR races this weekend, one in the trucks, one in Xfinity, and two in Sprint, or I should say the Cup Series, and my best bet of the day. All right, we'll start in hockey. We'll go over yesterday's games, and we will look ahead to today's games. The Canucks over to Wild 3-0 to take a 2-1 series lead. Number three started the game with a goal and assist. Elias Pettersson, number two, started the game with three assists. Quinn Hughes, number one, started the game with 27 saves on 27 shots. Jacob Markstrom. The Flyers over to Capitals 3-1 in the East Round Robin. Um, Number three started the game with 16 saves on 17 shots, Brian Elliott. Number two started the game with two goals and an assist, Scott Lockton. And the number one started the game with three assists, Kevin Hayes. The Golden Knights over the Blues 6-4. Vegas really came on in that uh, later two of the periods. Um, The number three started the game with two goals, Colton Parenko. Number two started the game with two goals, Shea Theodore. Number one started the game with two goals, Alec Tuck. Blue Jackets over to Maple Leafs 4-3 in overtime to take a 2-1 series lead. The number three star of the game with the goal, Cody Ceci. Number two star of the game with the goal, Seth Jones. The number one star of the game with the hat trick, Pierre-Luc Dubois. Flames over the Jets 4-0 to clinch the series. They move on to uh, the official Stanley Cup playoffs. The number three star of the game with a goal, Dylan Doobie. The number two started the game with a goal and assist, Sam Bennett. Number one started the game with 31 saves on 31 shots, Cam Talbot. Looking ahead to today, there's six games. 12 o'clock NBCS Sunday have the Islanders and the Panthers. Um, this should be an interesting game. Islanders obviously move on to the official playoffs with a win here. Florida wins. Game five will be right in front of us so that... Should be fun. Um, I had the Islanders in five in the series, and I'm going to stick with it. So give me um, the Panthers here to um, force a game five, which should be very interesting to say the least. The Predators and the Coyotes, 2.30 on the NHL Network. Um, Coyotes up 2-1 to one in the series. I'm going to go with the Predators here to force a Game 5. I just still think they're the better team. Arizona, um, they really have proved me wrong thus far in the series. They played um, some good hockey. Taylor Hall looks like the Taylor Hall of old. Um, in this series, I had the Predators in 4. But hey, I was wrong. So uh, give me the Preds to uh, force a Game 5. 4 o'clock NBCSN, the Pens and the Canadians. Montreal's up 2-1, amazingly enough. I'm going to go with the Pens to force a game five. Um, Carey Price is just due for a stinker, right? So I want to take the Penguins to force a game five. 645 NBCSN, you have the Oilers and the Blackhawks. Um... Chicago's up 2-1 in the series. Um, I'm going to go with Connor McDavid and the Oilers here to uh, even this up at two apiece. So give me the Oilers. I had Oilers in four in this series. And then in the other 5-12 in the East, I had the Pens sweeping. Oh, well. Um, 8 o'clock on the NHL Network, you have the Maple Leafs and the Blue Jackets. Should be a fun game. Um, Columbus is up 2-1 in the series. Um I'm going to take Toronto to even this up. Um, This has been the best series in the East so far. They had the overtime game, a couple shutouts, but that overtime game was a lot of fun. I think that these next two games, if they're assuming there's two, I think there's going to be two games left in the series, including tonight. And So give me Toronto to uh, force a game five. I picked Columbus in five in the series. So give me uh, Toronto tonight. The force of Game 5. And at 10.45 on NBCSN, you have the Canucks and the Wild. Um, 
I'm going to go with the Minnesota Wild here to force a game five. Um, I had Canucks in five. Um, I think the Wild are a team that um, are capable of bouncing back from getting shut out. So give me the Wild here to force a very intriguing and decisive game five in that series. Now I'm going to go over the NBA results from yesterday and look ahead to today's slate. Kings over the Pelicans, 140-125. to um, Sacramento, 29-39. New Orleans, 29-39. Bogdan Bogdanovich, 35 points to lead. Sacramento, Brandon Ingram had 24 to lead. New Orleans. Bucks over the Heat, 130-116. to This game was crazy. The Miami Heat were up 20 in this game. And the Milwaukee came storming back. And they won by double digits and covered. And the loss of Jimmy Butler came back to haunt Miami. Milwaukee 55 and 14, Miami 43 and 26. Giannis is at a Kumbo at 33 points, 12 boards. Duncan Robinson led Miami in scoring with 21 points in this game. Suns over the Pacers 114 to 99. The Suns are 30 and 39. Indiana's 42 and 27. DeAndre 8 and 27 points. Malcolm Brogdon had 25 and 6 assists to lead Indiana. Clippers and the Mavericks. The Clippers out on top, 126 to 111. The Clips are 46 and 22. Dallas 41 and 30. Kawhi Leonard had 29 points to lead the lead or to lead the way for the uh, the Clips and Chris Porzingis, is 30 points and nine rebounds. The Trailblazers over the Nuggets, 125 to 115. So my best bet um, did not work out. That's okay. And the reason why we'll get to in a second, Portland 32 and 38, Denver 45 and 24. Damian Lillard had 11 threes. That's why Denver didn't win. If Damian Lillard wasn't stupid hot from three, 11 threes, then Denver wins. Worst case scenario, Denver covers. Heck, if Lillard misses three of them, Denver covers. But yeah, Lillard had 45 points, 11 threes, 12 assists. Michael Porter Jr. continues to play well in the bubble. 27 points and 12 rebounds for the young, talented forward. Rockets over the Lakers, 113 to 97. No LeBron, no Westbrook. Rockets are 43 and 25. Lakers, 51 and 17. James Harden had 39 points, 8 boards, and 12 assists. Kyle Kuzma led the Lakers in scoring with 21. Six games tonight. The first game at 1 o'clock is between the Jazz and the Spurs. This should be an interesting game, to say the least. I would make the Jazz favorites by 7.5 points. And that's with both teams um, being as banged up as they are. And the Jazz, I'm sorry, wait, the Spurs are eight-point favorites. That's not right. Is they, is Mitchell and Gobert out? Like, did I miss a memo about Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert not playing today? Yeah, oh, wait. Mike Conley, Donovan Mitchell, Rudy Gobert out with injuries versus Spurs. Okay. Um, And Royce O'Neal. No wonder that line is so weird. Um, So let me um, go to my sheet here. Um, Donovan Mitchell worth three and a half. So I had the Jazz by seven and a half. So that takes away... Three and a half, so that's down the Jazz by four. Gobert is worth three points. That makes it Jazz by one. Um, and then Royce O'Neal, I don't think is worth anything. So it should be Jazz by one. Even like eight's way too big of a number for this Spurs team to be favored by. I don't think the Spurs are good. I think that they're playing well in the bubble. But they shouldn't be eight-point favorites. Sorry. 
give me the Jazz plus eight. I'm going to say the Spurs win because of the injuries, but they should not be favored by eight. I think San Antonio wins by like five points. I think that line is a little shady, and there's too many injuries with the Utah Jazz. Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert combined worth um, six and a half points. And I, like I said earlier, I would make the um, the Jazz seven and a half with those guys healthy. And without them, I would make it Jazz by one. So um, the Spurs will probably win, but eight is just a ridiculous number, to say the least. You got the Thunder. And the Grizzlies at 4 o'clock on NBA TV. The Thunder are five-point favorites. I would make the Thunder seven-point favorites. So, um, small edge in Oklahoma City. I'm going to lay the five. Um, I think that Memphis is a team that um, came into this with a chip on his shoulder, but they lost Jaron Jackson Jr. That's a big loss for them. So, and if he was there, I'd make it five and a half, so it'd be spot on. Like, Jaron Jackson Jr.'s not there. I like the Thunder. Minus the five, unless there's more injuries that I don't know about. So, give me Oklahoma City in that one. Sacramento and Brooklyn. Sacramento is a four-point favorite. I would make Sacramento... A one and a half point favorite. Um, I'm going to see if there's more um, Nets injuries. Um, so it doesn't look like it. So um, give me Brooklyn getting the four against Sacramento. I don't think they'll win. I just think that. Um, that's a little big of a number. I think this is a close, a very, very close game. That's all. And that game's on at 5.10 or 5 o'clock. 6.30 of the Magic and the 76ers. Um, no Ben Simmons, if I'm not mistaken. That's obviously a big loss for the 76ers. Um, I think he's a four-point player to... The point spread. Um, The Sixers, I would make a um, in a normal line um, over the Magic. I make them five and a half. No Ben Simmons. It's just down the one and a half. And Philly's favorite by four and a half. I'm going to take Orlando plus the four and a half. That line is ridiculous. Without um, ben, Saban, ben Simmons. Even with Ben Simmons. That line should be like five and a half. Like Ben Simmons is not there. So give me Orlando getting four and a half against the Sixers in that game. Unless there's no more magic injuries that we don't know about. Wizards, Pelicans. The Pelicans are favored by seven in that game's at eight o'clock game. And the Pelicans are are should be nine and a half. I have a seven here. Maybe Zion's sitting. Why is that number low? I'm gonna lay the seven with New Orleans. If they're no injuries. So give me the Pelicans minus the seven against the Wizards. Um, so there you go. I think that that line, like I said, should be nine and a half. So two and a half point edge. Um, so Boston and Toronto, Toronto is a two point favorite nine o'clock game against the Celtics. I would make Toronto a 
two and a half point favorite, so this line's pretty close. So I'm going to stay off the line. I've picked the line each time so far. That's why I'm staying off because I have a half point edge towards Toronto, but um, it's too small of an edge. So going to the total, 220, I'm going to take the over. Um, Boston's offense and so is Toronto's offense have been very good. Their defenses have been solid too, but 220 is a low number for two teams that I think are really good offensively. So give me over 220 for Boston and Toronto tonight. I think the Raptors will win straight up, but my play for this game is indeed the over. Now I'm going to go over the baseball games from yesterday and looking ahead to the games today. Um, Interesting results last night, obviously. Um, And there's a couple of um, surprises as well. Pirates over the Twins, 6-5, to five, among surprises. The Pirates are 3-10, and 10, Minnesota 10-3. and three. Um, This was a walk-off win for the Pirates, a two-run walk-off single by Kevin Newman. Home runs in this game, Byron Buxton, Eddie Rosario, Miguel Sano. Getting the win for Pittsburgh was Sam Howard. The loss was Taylor Rogers. Um... Getting the start for Pittsburgh was JT Brubaker. Three innings, four hits, three and runs, two walks, two strikeouts, ERA 3.38. Kent Maeda, six innings, three hits, three and runs, a walk, four strikeouts, ERA 2.65. The Rockies over the Giants, six to four. The Rocks are nine and three. The Giants are six and eight. Getting the win, Yancy Almonte, the loss. Rico Garcia in the save. Jairo Diaz. Home runs, Trevor Story, Marcio Dubon, um, Daniel Murphy, Charlie Blackman. Kyle Freeland, six and two thirds, eight hits, three runs, two walks, two strikeouts, three, 2.41. Tyler Anderson, five innings, two hits, no runs, two walks, three strikeouts, three, 2.19. Athletics over the Rangers, six to four. The A's are 9-4. and four. The Rangers are 3-8. and eight. Mike Fires the win. Mike Viner the loss. Liam Hendricks the save. Home runs in this game. Matt Olson and Todd Frazier. As well as Rangers uh, second baseman Anderson Tejada. Uh, Mike Fires, 6-8, 7 It's 4 runs, 2 walks, 2 strikeouts. They're 8-5.63. Mike Weiner, five innings, four, five and runs, two walks, six strikeouts, three, 6.89. He's been bad so far this start of the season. Phils over the Yanks, five to four. The Phils, three and four. The Yankees are nine and three. Getting the win. Dallas Guerrera, the loss, Jordan Montgomery, the save, Hector Norris. Home runs in this game. JT Romuto and Gary Sanchez. Zach Laughlin, four innings, four hits, no runs, a walk, five strikeouts, array of zero. Um, Jordan Montgomery, four innings, six hits, five runs, a walk, two strikeouts, three, 5.59. Angels over the Mariners, six to one. The Angels are five and eight. The Mariners are five and nine. Dylan Bundy to win, Tyjon Walker to loss, home runs, Shohei Otani, Dan Vogel back, Max Stassi. Dylan Bundy, a complete game, four hits, an earned run, no walks, 10 strikeouts, three, 2.08. Tyjon Walker, three and two thirds, three hits, four runs, three walks, three strikeouts, three, 5.79. Indians over the Reds, 13 nothing. The Indians are eight and six. The Reds are five and eight. Carlos Carrasco, the win, Luis Castillo, the loss, home runs. Um, Jose Ramirez, who did it twice. Carlos Carrasco, six innings, one hit, no runs, four walks, eight strikeouts, three, 2.5. Luis Castillo, five innings, four three runs, four walks, nine strikeouts, ERA, 4.76. Braves over to Blue Jays, four to three. The Braves are nine and five. Toronto's four and six. Mark Lance in the win. Wilmer Font the loss. Home runs. Freddie Freeman, Bo Bichette, Nick Markakis with the walk-off shot in the bottom of the ninth. Good to see him after um, he came back. He initially opted out, but he's back. 
he came back to help the Braves, so that's uh, pretty awesome. Um, Tuki to Saint pitched very well. Six and two thirds, four three runs, no walks, nine strikeouts, three six point oh eight. Nate Pearson five innings, two at three runs, two walks, five strikeouts, three two point seven. Diamondbacks over the Astros five to four on a walk off two run single by Cole Calhoun. Arizona five and eight, Houston six and six. Getting the win for the Diamondbacks, Junior Guerrero, the loss, Ryan Presley. So, um, Houston kind of scuffling these last couple games. Arizona, good two wins in a row for them to for them to kind of get back in this. Um, home runs, Jose Altuve and Alex Bregman. Zach Allen, six inning, six hits, two runs, a walk, six strikeouts, zero two point eight one. And starting for Houston was. Um, Brandon Bilek, five innings, two hits, no runs, two and a strikeout. You're eight point eight seven. Royals over the Cubs, thirteen to two. Royals four and ten. The Cubs ten and three. I predicted this upset. Good job by me. Brad Keller to win. Tyler Chatwood the loss. Mikel Franco, Whit Merrifield, Jorge Soler among the homer hitters. Brad Keller in his first game, five innings straight, no runs, two walks, seven strikeouts, ERA of zero. Tyler Chatwood, um, predictable regression game for him, two and a third, 11 hits, eight earned runs, no walks, four strikeouts, ERA 5.4. Marlins over to Orioles, eight to seven. The Marlins are an amazing six and one. Baltimore is five and seven. Getting the win for Miami, Mike Morin, the loss. For Baltimore, Evan Phillips and Brandon Kinsler getting the save. He's been very good for Miami thus far. Homers in this game, Jonathan VR, um, Renato Nunez, Dwight Smith Jr., Nunez again. Jordan Yamamoto started for Miami, 4 innings, 6 hits, 4 runs, no walks, 4 strikeouts, ERA of 9. Wade LeBlanc for the Orioles, 3 and a third, 7 hits, 6 and runs, a walk, and a strikeout, ERA 6.0. 9-1. Brewers over to White Sox 8-3. The, the Brewers are 5-5. Five and five. Chicago 7-6. and six. Josh Lindblom the win. Gio Gonzalez the loss. Home runs in this game. Um, Leary Garcia, Christian Yelich was actually an inside the park home run. Jed Jerko as well. Lindblom 5 innings, 4 2 runs, a walk, 7 strikeouts, here a 4.15. By the way, Yelich is up to um, 111 on the year. Not that that's a good thing. This he among a couple of um, of big name players in the league are just off to slow starts, and I think he's by far been the most disappointing player in the league. Gio Gonzalez four and a third, eight hits, four and runs, two walks, three strikeouts, ERA seven point seven one. Today, guess what? All 30 major league teams are playing. Isn't that a beautiful thing to see? It's just exciting that the Cardinals are playing finally and um, they're ready to go. Um, Six o'clock, you have the Orioles and the Nationals. Tommy Malone, and we don't know who's going for Washington yet. Um, You got... The Yankees at the Rays. Masahiro Tanaka, Blake Snell. Tanaka, no decisions with a 3.38 ERA, whip of 1.88. Snell, no decisions with a 5.4 ERA, whip of 1.8. 7 o'clock, the Braves at the Phillies. Kyle Wright, Vince Velasquez, right on one with a 7.5 ERA, whip of 2.67. Velasquez, no decisions with a 12 ERA, whip of 1.67. Tigers and the Pirates. Matt Boyd, Chad Cole. Boyd on one to 7.2 ERA, whip of 1.7. Pirates. Of Chad Cole, um, no decisions, 1.8 ERA, whip of 1.6. The Marlins against the Mets, Sandy Alcantara and Michael Waka. Alcantara 1 0 with a 1.35 ERA, whip of 0.75. Waka 1 1 with a 6 ERA, whip of 1.67. 7.30, Blue Jays, Red Sox. Tanner Rourke and Ryan Weber. Rourke 1 0 with a 1.80 ERA, whip of 0.6. Weber 0 2 with the 11.57 ERA, whip of 2.43. 8 o'clock, the Twins and the Royals. Devin Smelter and Jacob Junis. 
Smelter will know with 11.57 ERA, whip of 2.14. Junis, no decisions with a 4.15 ERA, with a whip of 1.85. Indians, White Sox. Aaron Savali and Dylan Cease. Savali, 1 and 1, with a 3.75 ERA, whip of 1.08. Cease, 1 and 1, with a 6.48 ERA, with a whip of 1.56. Reds, Brewers. Tan- Trevor Bauer and Eric Lauer. Bauer, 1 and 0, the 0.68 ERA, with a whip of 0.8 or 0.53. Lauer, no decision, zero ERA, whip of 0.75. So that's a sneaky good pitching matchup for tonight. 8-15, the Cubs and the Cardinals. John Lester against Daniel Ponce de Leon. Lester, 1 and 0, with a 0.82 ERA, with a whip of 0.55. John Lester looking like the old John Lester the last couple days. Ponce de Leon, 0 and 1, with a 6.75 ERA, with a whip of 1.25. I'm looking forward to this game. I want to see how the Cardinals come out. I think they're going to be motivated, like how the Marlins are playing motivated, but obviously the Cardinals are a much more talented team than the Marlins, so I expect the Cardinals to come out and play really well these next couple um, of weeks, and I won't be dumbfounded if they sweep the Cubs. As good as the Cubs are playing, like the Cubs are due for some regression, and we saw that last night with Tyler Chatwood. 9 o'clock, Fox Sports 1, Angels, Rangers. Griffin Canning and Jordan Lyles. Canning 0-1 with a 3.38 ERA, whip of 1.31. Lyles 0-1 with a 6 ERA, whip of 1.5. Um, Canning has pitched respectably well thus far, and I think that the Angels will come out and win tonight. Um, they should um, be able to hit Jordan Lyles. Um, so, give me the Angels. Sans no Joe Adele. Um, I want to see what the over is for this game tonight between the Angels and the Rangers. Um, the the total is nine and a half. I would take the over. I think this is like six to four or uh, more high scoring than that. Um, you have the Astros and the A's. For the first time this season, Zach Greinke and um, Chris Bassett. Greinke, no decisions, 5 ERA, whip of 1. Bassett, 1 0, the 0.93 ERA, whip of 0.93. Diamondbacks, Padres, Luke Weaver and Joey Lachesi. Weaver, 0 2, the 14.73 ERA, whip of 2.59. Lachesi, 0 1, the 8.44 ERA, whip of 2.44. 940 Giants, Dodgers, Jeff Samarjo and Julio Urias. Samarjo won with the 9.31 ERA, whip of 1.34. Urias won to know with the 2.45 ERA, whip of 1.27. And the Rockies, Mariners. That's an interesting series. Um, See how uh, the Rockies continue their surprising success. Antonio Senzatella against Yusei Kikuchi. Senzatella 2-0 with the 2.45 ERA, whip of 1.27. Kikuchi 0-0 with a 4.68 ERA, whip of 1.34. The weekend's games, um, 2 o'clock, Yankees raise. Garrett Cole and Tyler Glass now. So that's a great pitching matchup there between those two guys. Um, Indians, White Sox, Zach Plesak, and we don't know who's going for the White Sox yet. 4 o'clock, Fox Sports 1, Tigers, Pirates. Um, we don't know who's going for the training of Derek Holland for Pittsburgh. Astros Athletics, Fomber Valdez and Frankie Montas. Um, game two between the Yankees and the Rays on Saturday. We don't know who's going for New York. And for um, Tampa, it's Yanni Chirinos. You got the Braves and the Phillies. We don't know who's going for Atlanta and Jake Arrieta for Philly. Orioles-Nationals, um, we don't have a pitching matchup yet. 7 o'clock, the Twins and the Royals, Jake Odorizzi and Danny Duffy. Odorizzi making his season debut. Angels and the Rangers, we don't know who's going for L.A. And then Kobe Allard's going for Texas. Reds-Brewers, Anthony DiSclefani and Brett Anderson. Marlins-Mets, Caleb Smith and David Peterson. Blue Jays-Red Sox. Matt Shoemaker and Zach Godley. 
Cubs Cardinals at 8:15. Alec Mills and Adam Wainwright. Wainwright's pitched very well so far this season. Nine o'clock Giants Dodgers. Johnny Cueto and Clayton Kershaw. What we thought was going to be on opening day is happening on Saturday night. Diamondbacks Padres Merrill Kelly and Zach Davies. And Rockies Mariners Chichi Gonzalez and Nick Margavisius. Sunday, 12.30, Orioles Nationals. John Means, and we don't know who's going for Washington. 1 o'clock, TBS, Braves, Phillies, Max Fried, and we don't know who's going for Philly. I like Atlanta on Sunday afternoon. I like Max Fried. He's off to a good start. Pressure's on him to step up with the absence of Mike Soroka. So give me Atlanta on Sunday afternoon. I think this is a a two-for-three for Atlanta in this series. Yanks, Rays, James Paxton, and Charlie Morton. So that's a pretty nice pitching matchup, despite disappointing stats from both guys, quite frankly, especially Paxton. Um, Marlins, Mets, Pablo Lopez, and Jacob deGrom. 130, Blue Jays, Red Sox. No pitching matchup yet. Tigers, Pirates. We don't know who's going for Detroit on Sunday. And in Pittsburgh, it's Joe Musgrove. 2 o'clock, the Twins and the Royals. Jose Brios and Brady Singer. That's a nice matchup there. 2-10, Shane Bieber and Lucas Giolito. That's another really good pitching matchup there. Reds Brewers, Sonny Gray and Brandon Woodruff. That's another good one. 2-30, Angels Rangers, Andrew Heaney and Lance Lynn. Both these guys have been off to good starts this season. Giants Dodgers. At 4 o'clock, Kevin Gossman and Walker Bueller. Astros Athletics, Christian Javier and Jesus Lazardo, two youngsters going at it there. Diamondbacks Padres, Madison Bumgarner and Chris Paddock. That's another good pitching matchup. And that was opening day, too, so that's ironic. Um, Rockies Mariners, Herman Marquez and Justice Sheffield. Sunday Night Baseball, Cubs Cardinals, Kyle Hendricks and Dakota Hudson. Um... So, this is an interesting matchup, obviously. Uh, Hendricks is off to a nice start this season. Um, Hudson did not have a good first start. Um, For this game, though, I'm going to pick the Cardinals. I think they win this series, two out of three, worst case scenario. They're going to be motivated to uh, be playing baseball again. And they're a team that... um, is very talented, and I like I said earlier, I think the Cubs are due for some regression. So give me the Cardinals on Sunday Night Baseball against the Chicago Cubs. And by the way, I forgot to look ahead to the games for hockey and NBA for the weekend, but um, that's okay. Soccer. Um, we will go over the um, semifinal game, or I should say the second of two in the um, MLS's back tournament. And Orlando City, as I predicted, came out on top 3-1 to one as they move on to the final to play against the Portland Timbers. Um, Orlando City got on the board first in the 36th minute on a goal by Nani. And then it was Nani again in the 42nd minute. For them to go up 2-1. to one. Then we're at the break. After the break. A little quiet. And then the 83rd minute comes around. Minnesota gets on the board. On a goal. By Mason Toy. And then in the 96th minute. Orlando City. Puts it away. On. A goal. By. Um, who scored. Oh, Benji Michelle to put it away for Orlando City as they advance to the title game, which will be on Tuesday night, August 11th at 8.30 p.m. I would assume ESPN. It's a Tuesday, and normally basketball's on TNT on Tuesdays, and they normally don't air baseball on Tuesdays. Some They have been lately because of the restart, but... Um, I think that uh, the championship game will be aired on uh, 
the worldwide leader on Tuesday night between Portland and Orlando City, and obviously we will pick it on the podcast on Tuesday. Now I'm going to take a look at the current leaderboard at the PGA Championship. Um, Interesting, to say the least, thus far. And your leader, as of right now, is Jason Day, tied with Brendan Todd, five under. A big tie for second or third place with four under Scotty Scheffler, Xander Shawfleet, Zach Johnson, Brooks Kepka, Justin Rose, Brendan Steele, Mike Lorenzo Vera, Martin Kamer, and Bud Cawley. All at four under. Tied for 12th with three under. Tony Finau, Kevin Kisner, Daniel Berger, Gary Woodland, Alex Noren, Tom Lewis, JT Potson, Hatong Lee. All three under. Tied for 20th with two under. Shane Lowry, Brian Harmon, Tiger Woods, Brent Weisberger, Keith Mitchell, Lonto Griffin, Kurt Katayama, Adam Hadwin, Patrick Reed, Victor Hovland, Bryson DeChambeau, Adam Scott, and Paul Casey. Tied for 33rd with one under. Colin Mariqua, Justin Kokrak, Dustin Johnson, Danny Lee, Matthias Schwab, Abraham Anser, Joel Dahman, Harry English, Corey Connors. Oh my goodness, you have a lot in there. Um, Sean Norris, um, Kim Saiwoo, Kevin Streelman. Matthew Wolf, Billy Horschel, Joel Dahman, I think I said already, um, Matthias Schwab, I think I said already too, and uh, Nate Lashley. Tied for 48th at even is a big list as well. Um, among notables, um, Max Hubbard, John Rahm, Tommy Fleetwood, Hideki Matsuyuma, Bubba Watson, Kevin Na, um, um, Louis Otsien, Rory McIlroy. Um, tied for 68th with one over is a big tie as well. Among notables, um, Lucas Glover, Justin Thomas, Chez V, Ryan Morensky, um, hmm, Webb Simpson. Tied for 89th with two over among those. Um, it's a pretty big tie as well. Um, Phil Mickelson, um, Harold Varner III, Luke List, um, and C.T. Pond. Among those tied for 109th with three over, um, Lucas Herbert, Doc Redman, Ian Poulter, Sergio Garcia, Ricky Fowler, disappointing for him. Um, Sun J M, Mackenzie Hughes, Jordan Spieth, and Patrick Cantlay. Among those tied for 128th with four over, um, Ryan Palmer, um, Tyler Duncan, Matthew Fitzpatrick, and Andrew Landry. Among those tied for fifth with, um, or I'm sorry, 139th with a score of five over, um, nobody really important, um, just going down the rest of the list. Zach Johnson, by the way, 12 over. So, um, that's probably like the biggest name that is on the bottom Oh, it's the other Zach Johnson. My bad. I was just making sure if it was the other Zach Johnson. Um, 
But still, both Zach Johnsons are um, pretty um, big names. But the other Zach Johnson that's ranked at the top is the Zach Johnson we all um, know better, obviously. Now I'm going to go over and preview the NASCAR races for the weekend. And I'll pick winners as well. We'll start in the truck series, obviously. Um, um, we'll go over the starting lineup. And we'll pick a winner for tonight. And they're at Michigan, obviously. Um, so without further ado, here's the starting lineup. Chandler Smith. Brent Moffitt, Christian X, Matt Kraft, and Austin Hill, Grant Effinger, Zane Smith, Sheldon Creed, Derek Krause, Ben Rhodes, Raphael Lessard, David Gravel, Johnny Sauter, Tyler Ankrum, Jeb Burton, Tanner Gray, Brendan Poole, Ty Majeski, Todd Gill, and Ryan Truex, Stuart Friesen, Clay Greenfield, Jesse Awuji, Jordan Anderson, Tate Fogelman, Cody Roadbog, Austin Wayne Self, Corey Roper, Josh Rumi, Tyler Hill, Spencer Boyd, Tim Vance, Jennifer Joe Cobb, John Hunter Nemechek, Parker Kingleman, Norm Benning, Ray Cicerelli, Dawson Cram, and Trey Hutchins the third. This is a tough call in terms of a pick here. Um, I am going to pick to win this race, and I don't have the odds in front of me either. Um, I'm going to go with Jeff Maglicetti's boy, Austin Hill, to win the, uh, the truck race for tonight. And now um the Xfinity starting lineup uh for um their race at um at Road America. Michael Annette, Austin Sindrick, Harrison Burton, Justin Haley, Riley Herbs, Kaz Grala Chase Briscoe, Brandon Jones, Noah Gregson, Daniel Hermnick, Ross Chase, and Justin Allager, Brendan Brown, Jesse Little, Stephen Licht, Ryan C., Jeffrey Earnhardt, Jeremy Clements, Jade Buffer, Mike Wallace, Alex Labe, Josh Williams, Andy Lally, R.C. Anderson, Bailey Curry, jo- Joe Graff Jr., Scott Heckert, Cody Vanderwall, Matt Snyder, Josh Balicki, Chad Finkham, Kyle Weatherman, A.J. Almendinger, Matt Mills, Jesse Awuji, Tommy Joe Martins, and Preston Pardis. I am going to go with Harrison Burton here tomorrow afternoon for Xfinity. And now it's for the uh, the cup race for Saturday. And obviously I have to... Um, Pick two winners. And the odds for uh, tomorrow's race are on FanDuel. Joey Logano, Denny Hamlin, Kevin Harvick, Eric Almarola, Brad Kozlowski, Alec Bowman, Kyle Busch, Chase Elliott, Clint Boyer, Kurt Busch, Ryan Blaney, Martin Truex, Jr., Ryan Newman, Tyler Riddick, Matt DiBendetto, Cole Custer, Jimmy Johnson, Austin Dillon, William Byron, Matt Kenseth, Michael McDowell, Chris Boucher, Eric Jones, Bubba Wallace, Quinn Hoof, J.J. Yilly, Brendan Poole, James Davison, Chris Bell, Reed Sorensen, John Hunter, Nemechek, Ricky Stenhouse, Junior Garrett, Smithley, Ty Dillon, Ryan Priest, Corey LaJoy, Daniel Suarez, Timmy Hill, and Joey Gase. I am going to go with to win the first race. Kyle Busch, 12-1. I think that is very... Um, Good odds for Kyle Busch. He's due. It's just that simple. So I'm going to go with Kyle Busch in race number one. Race number two, I'm going to go with Denny Hamlin. Um, he's been racing well. Kevin Harvick's been the best driver, but Denny Hamlin's also been racing well. He's 5-1 to one to win tomorrow, but I'm going to go with him to win the second of the two races. And then tomorrow, I'm going to go with Kyle Busch at 12-1 to one to win the Firekeepers Casino 400. And now my best bet of the day brought to you by FanDuel. Um, I alluded to it earlier. I get it. There's a lot of people out. This reminds me of Brooklyn the other day against Milwaukee. Except um, 
Brooklyn somehow won outright, and obviously Milwaukee's a much better team than uh, San Antonio is. But I'm going to take the Jazz getting the 8.5. That's too many points. I think the Spurs will win, but the Jazz will cover that big number because I just don't think the Spurs are that good, quite frankly, despite all the injuries. And despite the injuries, the Utah Jazz should be like one-point favorites. So I have a big edge on the Jazz. It's going to be the Utah Jazz plus 8.5 against the Spurs. That's it for today. I'll be back tomorrow, or I'm sorry, on Monday, recapping everything that went on in the weekend. We'll um, put the WNBA back in the mix as well. Um, And any other news related to sports, I'll have for you as well. Hope you guys have a great weekend, everyone.